You, uh, you don't look so hot. Well, I have a good reason. What's your excuse? Uh, what can we do? Nothing. It's, uh, pretty much done. Oh, God, is it Amanda? Is she okay? Her little arrangement with David took a... a weird turn. He got what he wanted. Oh, Lord, she's pregnant? Could be, I don't know, possibly. Doesn't matter, though. She gave in to him. She decided to make a baby with David the old-fashioned way. It's all his fault, you know. It's both of their faults. Just like when David went after me, it wasn't all his fault then, either. I let him draw me in, and that's what Amanda has done with... Your support, I might add. Are you trying to make me feel better? You're doing a good job. I'm sorry, Jake, but I warned you both. I told Amanda not to move in with him. And you, you never should have made that deal for another baby. Come on, you know that was bound to come back and bite you. Well, we thought we had it under control. Well, there's your first mistake. Nobody controls Hayward. And as much as it stings, Crystal's absolutely right. You gotta get Amanda out of that house. The sooner the better. Break that ridiculous contract. And you, you, you gotta fight back, kiddo. You gotta fight for your wife. I don't, I don't think I can. How do you, how do you forgive something like this? And if you do, if you do forgive it, how, how do you forget it? Jake, you accused Amanda of giving in. If you walk away from her right now, you'd be doing exactly the same thing giving in. He wins, you lose. You wanna, you wanna take care of him? Talk some sense into him. Yeah, what she said. She was never gonna tell me. I, I, I had, I had to force it out of her. Well, of course you did. You can't blame her for that. Amanda's scared to death she's gonna lose you. Or that Hayward would find some perverted way of using it to get you to, to give up. You aren't, are you? You happy? Jake left. He walked out on me. And why would he do that? I told him what you and I did. I guess he didn't take it too well. It was all for nothing. Nothing. You son of a bitch, I'm not even pregnant. No, of course you're not. Ever wanted to give in to David, ever. So don't. Don't turn your back on Amanda. Get out there and fight for her. Dad, I have been fighting for months. Ever since I found out that she was carrying David's child, I have fought for her and the little boy. I love that kid. Where, where, where has it gotten me? What, what have I got to show for it? I keep going deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole. She agrees to move in with, with him, I fight for her. She, she agrees to have another child with him, I fight for her. She has sex with him? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, am I, what, are, what is it that I'm fighting for exactly? Your future together. Really? What, what future is that? There, there, nothing's gonna change. You see that? Nothing. I can't keep fighting for the rest of my life for, for, for a losing battle. She had sex with him. She had sex with him. And you know what else is never gonna change? The fact that Trevor will always, always be David's son. Always. You wanted this to happen. This was all part of your plan, right? You wanted as many shots at getting me pregnant as possible so that we could keep trying. Maybe, just maybe, it might bring us closer together, right? I mean, that, that's what was going on in your sick mind, wasn't it? This is not fair. I have had to sacrifice everything for you. What can I do for you, Amanda? I don't know, but do something. Make, make it so that we never had sex. Make my, my husband come back to me. Make this whole nightmare be over with. I, do something. Give me something. Maybe there is something I can do for you a way to make this all up to you.